Hi, it's Doug from DTA Designs Inc. talking about burn permanent maintenance within our fire department theme. After signing into your website, you will be presented with the firefighter's home page. Your home page will look a little different than what is being shown to you here as your website will be customized to your fire department. Also, your fire department may not have implemented all options available in the fire department theme. From the home page, click on administration from the menu bar. You will be presented with the following page. Click on the burn permits button, then click on the list burn permits button. Here you will be presented with the latest 30 burn permits added to your system. If any of the listed burn permits have been revoked by you, they will have a red background as shown for Mary Brown. At the top right under the menu bar is a search button where you can refine the listings or zone in on a particular burn permit. You can search by filling in any single field or a combination of fields and clicking on the search button. Let's have a look at the revoked burn permit for Mary Brown by clicking on the checkbox to the left of her name. In bold red text you immediately see that this burn permit has been revoked. Underneath that you will see the reason why it was revoked along with who revoked it. To the right of the reason is the reinstate button. As shown, all fields for this burn permit have been disabled. If you weren't planning on reinstating this burn permit, the return to burn permit listings button is at the bottom of the page. Let's go ahead and reinstate Mary's burn permit by clicking on the reinstate button. A pop-up message box appears requesting that you enter the reason that you are reinstating the burn permit. Enter the reason and click on the continue button. We can now edit, print, or revoke this burn permit as shown by the buttons above the return to burn permit listings button. We will now add a new burn permit to our system. Notice that Mary Brown does not have the red background any longer. Click on the add burn permit button. You are currently looking at a regular add burn permit form with no options turned on. You are now looking at an add burn permit with the option to enter a burn permit number. The only reason you would want this option turned on is if you sell burn permits where they don't have access to your website and you will be entering the permit holder's information later. Another option is the ability to enter an expiry date for the burn permit. The reason you would want this option turned on is if you don't sell burn permits for the entire year, you can set the expiry date for each permit sold. Okay, let's add Barney Rubble as a burn permit holder. We have entered all the necessary information for Barney and we have also assigned him a burn permit number. Let's click on the save button now. Notice that we receive a process pop-up window. Then we receive another pop-up window informing us that the burn permit for Barney was successful and that we sent him an email regarding his burn permit. There is one other option that is available and that is the ability for burn permit holders to have multiple addresses associated to their burn permits. So currently this option is not turned on. Let me turn the option on and you will see that we now can add another address for Barney. You are now looking at the email that Barney received from us. There are a few points that I would like to show you in this email. The email contains the permit number assigned to Barney the phone number Barney used, the web address for your fire department where Barney can go to register burns, your fire department's phone number where Barney can call in to register burns whether it's our automated phone system or yours, and lastly the fire chief's name is in the salutations. That concludes the video about burn permit maintenance within our fire department theme. Thanks for watching.